we will show you how to convert a basic K4 into a K4D. There are two boards and two cables that are plugged into a standard K4 to convert it into a K4D. Remove top cover, bottom cover, and the side with handle. There are two different side panel designs. One uses a Phillips head machine screw. The other uses a brazed on bracket. If your K4 side panel has the machine screw, remove it from the side panel. If your K4 side panel has the brazed bracket, release the panel by removing a screw found on the bottom side of the radio. The KDDC4 board plugs into a slot beneath the single board computer. There are two techniques for gaining access to the slot. You can remove the SPC directly or you may lift the SBC out of the way without disconnecting its many cables. If you choose to remove the SBC, first take photographs of the cables before removing them, and also be very careful when loosening the connectors. They are delicate. Do not pull on the wires because they might dislodge from the connector shells. Unpack the second KDDC4 board. Insert it into the slot marked KDDC4 number 2. Reinstall side panel. Replace SBC and reconnect its cables.
you can see, you see the screws that we're going to take out? That one, that one, this guy. If you leave it in the bracket, you won't lose it. out while you work your way over here. Remove two jumpers as shown. Plug in the subreceiver board. Attach the two coax cables, black and white. Insulation is now complete. Reinstall the bottom and top covers. Don't forget the speaker cable. The final step is enabling the subreceiver in the K4 main menu. You are done. We hope to hear you on the air. 73.